Hmm. Why especially for us? Well, because what? As in? Because we're girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I was just confused. Um, yeah, I think. Sadly. Um, yeah, I guess like the pink Power Ranger. You kind of think, you know, this kind of I don't know Valley Girl. I, I don't know what comes to mind, but for me, like my responsibility is just to do the character justice. And um, when I got the script, I was like, okay, who is Kimberly and what's she going through? And she's not perfect. I mean. She does something that she regrets, but it's kind of how does she learn from that mistake? I mean, these aren't perfect kids, as we've said. They're all going through things. And I think that, um, yeah, that's kind of, I, I guess that's how I view it. I just I just want to do the character justice. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's how she learns from her mistakes rather than just being one thing. I mean, we're not all one stereotype, you know? Yeah. We have, like, different layers going on. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, something as somebody who worked with your character, uh, building Trini actually had a lot to do with talking with Nay and seeing how she was building Kimberly. And one thing that we always talked about was the sisterhood and how do we make that real? Um, and how do we also not make it seem like we're pit against each other? Uh, because two women can be successful in one thing. It doesn't have to be one better than the other or one prettier than the other or, you know, one cooler than the other. And I loved the contrast between our two characters and how they still at the end, come together. And uh, especially as, as young women, I think that's mm. how we kind of broke down that barrier because you have the total right. outsider and then you have the queen bee, you know? And Knocked off her pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do hope ki uh, a lot of young kids go and see this movie and, um, and I hope that they, you know, feel what I felt when I watch superheroes on screen as a kid. And I hope that they, through this movie, they get something more. And the most important message I want them to get is that it's OK to be yourself. Um, your imperfections are the things that make you unique. And it's the things that make you stand out. And as long as you find people around you that are good, that accept you for your imperfections and accept you for yourself, you guys can get together and do something better. Mm -hmm. oh, that was Lovely. really good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Amen. He really landed that question. <laughs> yeah, he landed it. You stuck the landing. Man, he stuck the landing on that. Um, dang, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> I think all right, my best high school moment had to be my 10th grade talent show, to be honest. That was the first, first time that I felt like I was going to get out of the friend zone. But then the worst day was probably <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the worst day was probably the next day when I found out that that doesn't exist. Me getting out of the friend zone. So um, yeah, you brought that out of me. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> I, I kind of enjoyed school. I mean, I did have a little moment where um, I feel like everyone's been in that moment where you're like, you know, when that one friend isn't at school that day. And so you don't really have anyone to hang around with. <laughs> so you like walk around at lunchtime, like purposefully, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> so you're like, because you have no one to hang out with. You so just want to look cool? You're just walking around, but you yeah. have to look like you're going somewhere. I've been there a few times. Um, I guess because I was always like in drama club or like in mu doing music. Sometimes like I wasn't, um, I was friends with everyone, but didn't like have like a clique. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Other than that, I had a few of those moments. But <laughs> was, other Thanks. than that, it was pretty good. Thanks I liked it. Great. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything, everything worked out. Everything was alright. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm famous. And now I'm a, now I'm a Power Ranger. So I mean, it all kind of just flowed. <laughs> Daker. No speed bumps. Oh, no. okay. uh, are, we are we moving on to the... Uh, you wanna yeah, I, I don't know. My, my experience in my. school was very different. Um, I didn't really have many friends, and I was pretty overweight, and oh. I just wasn't... I guess when you first meet Jason at the beginning of the film, you're like, you know, it's just a stereotypical jock, and I think that's what's so lovely about it is that it it's doesn't evolve that way. And, and I, so I think... I hope that I was able to mould my own experience to that and give him more, you know, make him more multifaceted, multidimensional and interesting to watch, you know, so that people hopefully fall in love with him and, you know, he's seeking a relationship with the other, you know, the people in the different social cliques, if you want to call it that, um, in the school, cliques, cliques. <laughs> no, I, we say cliques, you know. Cliques. Uh, cliques. Yeah, man, we say, say cliques, cliques out here in America, dude. I'm learning. 
Yeah, I don't know what you're all talking about, <laughs> but it's clicks. Well. It's cute. Aussie's in English. <laughs> Maybe click, yeah, click is all. Do you say um, click or click? Click. Me okay, personally, good. my school Click. experience, uh, I'm... <laughs> no. You just took it. <laughs> my, um, my school experience wasn't always the best. I actually wouldn't say I had, like, the greatest day. Uh, there wasn't, like, a, a day that sticks out that I was like, wow, that was really cool. Uh, just because I guess the best way to explain it was, like, I'm in a classroom filled with, like, monkeys, and I'm a fish, and the lesson of the day was how to climb a tree. And I could see it. I could see it, and I knew how to climb it, and I could tell the teacher, this is how you do it, but I just couldn't do it. And everyone else is climbing the tree, and the teacher was like, why aren't you climbing the tree? And it's like, because I'm a swimmer. I'm really good at swimming. I'm just going to keep swimming, you know, because I'm really good at it. And I would always change schools, and I actually was always the new girl, and that was something that I talked about a lot with Dean, because I think uh, a lot of people kind of maybe expected me to play, like, a Kimberly Hart, you know, the girly girl, because I am in real life a girly girl. Um, but on a soul level, as far as like knowing what it's like to feel alone, um, I connected to Trini with that. So I definitely took a lot of like my childhood experiences from school and kind of like it kind of channeled with that whole thing. So yeah, I d it was pretty shitty. Mm. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <wow. laughs> I think I think for me, uh, high school is like kind of for a lot of people, it's just bittersweet. Uh, I was the I moved around a lot, so I was the outsider a lot of times, and that's how I connected to Zach, because um, he's kind of an outsider. Well, uh, I've run out of voices, so I just did my own voice. <laughs> 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 and he's really excited. He's been waiting for a long time. And uh, to be honest, I'm being totally honest, I, I, I watched these guys acting. I watched their acting, and it was... It just like like we were in a scene together, you know. You're watching what they're doing, and you're just reacting to what they were doing. And they're really good. They're really really great. And I just kept saying that to Dean. There's probably tons of audio of me in the middle of a thing going, "Ah, oh, that was good. Oh, that was great." Yeah. I thought wow. you were talking about your performance. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Aren't I fantastic? <laughs> No, but no, they were really good. I mean, it was really, it, it would have, I've done a lot of animation and I've done a lot of these things and it is hard when you're kind of just in a little room and they're going, okay, so it's a spaceship and there's this and that, whatever, but getting to watch these guys, it made it really easy. Thanks, mate. Uh, we have a question back here. Hi, it's Joy Richville TV. Um, this question is for John. John, this is a great film. Everybody was great, I really loved it. You did such a great job writing the screenplay. And my question for you is about the relationships with the teenagers. Where did you come with all the inspiration? Is this experiences from your background, growing up? It was just brilliant. So I just want to hear a little bit about that. Thank you. Um, I was not in Ludi's clique, just <laughs> to put that out there. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I was sitting here thinking that uh, I can't stop thinking about When he was a kid, clique. he found these coins. <laughs> No, I was actually sitting here thinking about these guys because we're like the elders up here and like the young, beautiful people are sitting in front of us. And, you know, the first teenage movie that I worked on was Varsity Blues. And that was a, another movie where, thank you, um, where we had this, you know, collection of kids. You have to kind of find each other and, you know, overcome the obstacles and things like that. And so um, I think Dean and I, in trying to come up with these characters, we wanted to reflect kind of what the world would be today. And somebody else referenced Breakfast Club, which is an amazing movie from my youth that I loved. And what would those issues and what would those characters be today? You know, it's like, what would they be facing? So the ideas that these guys have already talked about were things we wanted to kind of bake into, like, what we were trying to represent today, you know? So. I mean, <clears throat> I guess uh, it was all just about conceptually did it fit into the movie? So if there was a reason for it, and there was sort of a philosophy behind it, I think we felt like then it would be germane to the movie. And for all of those fans, it would get those references. It would mean a lot. And for everyone else, it still feels organic to whatever's going on. So it won't bump you out of the movie. I think that was kind of our, the way yeah. we approached things like that. Yeah, we definitely wanted to honor all of the things that the, the fans have enjoyed for so many years. But we obviously, you know, like Dean says, there, there's Easter eggs in there. And I know you're nodding going like, yeah, I saw that, and I saw that, and I saw that, which is great because there'll be a younger set that won't totally get that yet, but may get invited back into it. So mm -hmm. we wanted to definitely honor that. Perform. Oh, yeah, of course, for sure it does. I, all of the hair, the makeup, my, I wear prosthetics in this movie as well, which I've never done before. 
I may never do again. Um, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, and it, you know, it, it changes. It changes your whole. You know, I love. I love like I like to sleep in the makeup chair. So, because I'm there for four hours. So, but when I, when I wake up and I look in the mirror, it's a totally different person sitting there. It's like I don't feel. I never feel like the character until I'm walking in their boots and like carrying the staff and all of it. it changes your body language and how you're perceived in the world.